the moment I entered into the zoo, I said I must be changing it. I don't like animals like uh, chimps, like tigers. They are living in concrete floor. I came to the UAE during December 1983. Exactly on 15th of December, I joined Alliance Zoo as the curator of birds. Later on, I became curator of birds and primates. 1989, 1st June, I joined Dubai Zoo as its head. When I joined here, the zoo, as uh, one could imagine, is uh, like the zoos of the Western world in the 1950s that they had. The basic structures for keeping animals were rods and cement. The moment I entered into the zoo, I said I must be changing it. I don't like animals like uh, chimps, like tigers. They are living in concrete floor, in three side wall and on top uh, chinky roof and one side steel barrier. So I started opening up uh, Dubai Zoo, animal enclosures. I tried to expand their enclosures as much as possible. The greatest problem was the, <laughs> there was no disposing of excreta from the wild animals that were exhibited in uh, Dubai Zoo. So we, uh, myself, the foreman and the Zubai Safari and Mel Keeping teams, we joined together and we started the Sokaway gutter. Moreover, because it was uh, just five uh, acres and all side walled up in Jumeirah, there is no free flow of air. So to bring the temperature down, both for the visitors and the animals, we started spraying water two times a day. And later on, we started putting up air conditioners for sensitive animals like the gorilla chimps and most of the uh, reptile house we had uh, this. With the help of Dubai zookeepers and uh, borrowing materials from different departments of the municipality, we could have good building for gorilla, for the chimp, and for the reptiles, especially snakes and some nocturnal animals like the bats. So those are the major changes we did in Dubai Zoo. Dubai Zoo was uh, built by an uh, Austrian gentleman uh, through the uh, advice of the then uh, ruler, Sheikh Maktoum, and it was built in Jumeirah. It was all walled up, so we needed to go for a new state-of-the-art modern zoo. And from 1993, April, we started the process of having a new zoo master plan. We did it uh, through the municipality uh, horticulture and design department. We did uh, three master plans. The last one was in, done in uh, 2006. That could not be implemented because of the economic downturn. And later on, on the basis of all those information and uh, advice of our ruler, Sheikh Mohammed, he uh, told us to go ahead with the Dubai new Dubai Zoo project as Dubai Safari. And he uh, allotted 150 million for, as a seed money to start the process. That's how we started the process of the new du uh, Dubai uh, Zoo that was named as the Dubai Safari Park. Finally, in uh, 2016, the Safari Park project took the full shape and we could open the door in uh, 17 December. And 5th of November, Dubai Zoo was shut forever uh, for the visitors. Current Dubai Safari is a state-of-the-art modern facilities for exhibiting wild animals of uh, habitat-based wild, wild animals from different parts of the world or uh, different areas of the world. It's an euric, uh, like a botanical garden, it's an evergreen area. And moreover, the location of Dubai Safari is actually a rubbish dump, solid waste dump of about two square kilometer of land has been con converted into evergreen area with uh, more than 3,000 trees have been planted there, and most trees are above three meters in height. And last five years, they have grown to six, seven meters. So if you see, if you have an aerial view, it will look like an evergreen place. So to change from a walled up Dubai Zoo of five acres to nearly a two square kilometer Dubai's, Dubai's Safari Park is a mammoth shift, it's a paradigm shift and the ideas have changed and it has become now a conservation center in the Middle East.